Flowers Flowers are symbols of beauty in most cultures of the world. Many people give flowers as gifts. People also use flowers as decorations during holidays and at weddings and other ceremonies. Flowers with a lovely scent may be made into perfume. Let's see and learn about some beautiful flowers. Rose Rose, the name comes from the Latin word rosa. The flowers of the rose grow in many different colors, from the well-known red rose to yellow roses and sometimes white or purple roses. Roses are the most popular flower in the world. Around the world their beauty is used to as a symbol of love, romance, friendship, sympathy and sorrow. Tulips 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 are plants that bloom in early spring. The flowers are cup-shaped and very colorful. They are among the most popular garden flowers. There are about 4,000 varieties of tulip. They belong to the lily family. Sunflowers 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 are useful plants with large flower heads, or blooms. They are named for the way they turn their blooms from east to west to follow the sun. Sunflowers are giants among flowers. The rough, hairy stem grows from 3 to 15 feet, 1 to 4.5 meters, tall. Lavenders Lavenders, lavenders are very popular among gardeners. Sometimes their petals are dried and sealed in pouches for good scent. Lavender flowers represent purity, silence, devotion, serenity, grace, and calmness. Purple is the color of royalty and speaks of elegance, refinement, and luxury, too. Asters. Asters, asters are the stars of the fall garden with beautiful daisy-shaped flowers that bloom when many summer flowers are fading. These upright plants grow one to six feet tall and their star-shaped flower heads range from purple to white to blue. Orchids. Orchids, orchids are plants prized for their beautiful and unique flowers. Orchids make up one of the world's largest plant families, with between 15,000 and 35,000 species, or types. Many people grow orchids as a hobby. Orchids grow in most parts of the world except for the areas near the North and South Poles. Orchid flowers are best known for relieving stress. It is used in many herbal medicines, which helps to maintain mental peace. Daisy. Daisy, each flower has a rosette of small, thin white petals surrounding a bright yellow center. The petals can sometimes be tinged with pink and other colors. As a plant, daisies symbolize innocence, purity, loyalty, patience, and simplicity. The classic white daisy is associated with humility, and the more rare blue marguerite daisy hints at openness and peace. Carnation Carnation, the carnation is a flower that is often used in bouquets and corsages. People have grown carnations in gardens for more than 2,000 years. Carnations often have a spicy smell. In the past, people used carnations to spice wine. Carnations also were used to treat fevers. In 1907, the pink carnation was chosen as a symbol for Mother's Day. Daffodils 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 are bright and fragrant flowers that bloom in the spring. Daffodils' leaves are long and flat and the blossoms, six petals and trumpet in the middle, are bright yellow or white. Because it is one of the first flowers to bloom in spring, daffodils are seen as a representation of rebirth and new beginnings. They are also thought to represent inspiration, forgiveness, and creativity. Dahlia Dahlia, Dahlia is a genus of plants with large brightly colored flowers. They are from Mexico, Central America, and Colombia. There are at least 36 species of Dahlia. Dahlia are often grown in flower gardens. This flower grows well away from strong, direct sunlight. Dahlia panada is the national flower of Mexico because the plant was first recorded in the country in 1615. Bougainvillea Bougainvillea, Bougainvillea is a genus of flowering plants, IT is often grown as gardening plant in warm climate. Bougainvilleas first came from South America. They are climbing plants grown for decoration in tropical countries, and in the southern United States, the IT is Granada's national flower. Water lily. Water lily, water lilies are plants that grow in still or slowly moving water. They like ponds, streams, and the edges of lakes in tropical and mild areas. Their floating leaves are often called lily pads. Frogs like to sit on them. Pansy. Pansy, pansies are most appreciate the sweet little purple and yellow flowers, with two rounded petals on top, Mickey Mouse ears, and tiny, radiating lines. Pansies are available in an amazing array of colors including red, orange, yellow, blue, violet, bronze, and even a deep purple. Lotus. Lotus, it is an aquatic flower with round leaves floating on the water. It grows in freshwater lakes and shallow ponds. It is a beautiful flower which has an appealing fragrance and color. The flower is usually white or light pink in color with boat-shaped petals. Hibiscus 
Hibiscus, hibiscus or rose mallow, is a genus of plants with a flower of bright colors. It grows mostly in the tropics, but some species grow in cooler climates. The flower usually has five petals. Hibiscus comes in many colors like white, pink, red, purple, orange, and yellow. Poppies. Poppies, poppies are flowers that are valued for their brilliantly colored blossoms with papery petals. They are grown as garden plants and also for their seeds. Poppies grow in mild climates throughout the world. Poppy is a symbol of Remembrance Day because they are used to remember those who have given their lives in battle is because they are the flowers which grew on the battlefields after World War I ended. Lily. Lily, the lily is incredible for pollinators, attracting insects with its large colorful flowers and tasteful nectar. Certain species of lily are pollinated by wind, while others are pollinated by bees. Lilies have large petals that can be white, yellow, orange, red, purple or pink in color. Marigolds. Marigolds, marigolds are plants that bear brightly colored blooms. They are popular in flower gardens. People also plant marigolds among vegetables. Their leaves have a strong scent that can drive away insect pests. Morning glories. Morning glories, the bright, funnel-shaped blooms of morning glories are fragile and short-lived. These twining, quick-growing vines need little care and grow in almost any warm climate. Zinnias. Zinnias, zinnias is usually associated with friendship, endurance, daily remembrance, goodness, and lasting affection. Pollinators love zinnias. They bloom from May through October most years here in the Oklahoma Garden and are a great food source for pollinators. Zinnias attract tons of bees and butterflies that work hard in the garden making food for us. This helps our garden be super productive. Bluebells. Bluebells, bluebells are a genus of flowering plants in the family Asparagaceae, hyacinthoids. I in the language of flowers, the bluebell is a symbol of humility, constancy, gratitude and everlasting love. Jasmine. Jasmines are widely cultivated for their flowers, to be enjoyed in the garden, as house plants, and for cut flowers. The flowers are worn by women in their hair in Southern and Southeast Asia. Jasmine flowers are also used to make tea, which typically has a green tea base. Many types yield an essential oil, which is used in the production of perfumes and incense. Thanks for watching, keep learning, please like, comment and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye!